Hi guys, Overarch here, and today I'm going to talk about some of my favorite Cicada builds in MechWarrior Online. So the Cicada in MWO is a medium mech weighing in at 40 tons that really plays more like a light mech. They're extraordinarily fast, and they get most of their durability from that speed. So you want to be constantly moving. Um, they mount heavier weaponry than a normal light mech would, so that's also a big plus for them. But on the whole, you're going to play a lot like a light mech, skirmishing in and around the enemy, you know, striking, retreating, flanking, um, stuff like that. And you have the speed to match a light mech. In fact, uh, I believe Cicadas were, for, a, for the longest time, one of the fastest mechs in the game. Alright, so let's talk about some of these builds. Ignore this one, this is a sniper build I've been experimenting with. Let's talk first about my Rack 2 build. So this mech mounts a pretty devastating for its size Rack 2, so that's Rotary Autocannon 2, 2 tons of ammunition, as well as a Guardian ECM, AMS, and a medium laser. So this build is really good at flanking the enemy and just pummeling away at the side of something. You have a speed of 140 kilometers per hour, which is insane for something mounting a Rack 2. You just get to the side of him and just bleh, just pick away at him, blast him until you overheat, pop back in cover, wait to cool down. And this build is just super strong, just a combination of a fast platform uh, Guardian ECM and a Rack 2 is a really deadly combination. You also mount a decent amount of armor with this build. So, yeah, 215 armor is nothing to scoff at. So, for that reason, I do particularly like this build. Another build, and this one might be cheating a little bit, but this one's my personal favorite. This is the X5, so this is a hero mech. Uh, I do, last I checked, you did have to have this X5 hero mech in order to do this build. You could not do it with a uh, non-premium mech. And the reason for that being that it actually requires missile slots. So you have four medium lasers and then SRM-8. And uh, yeah, it's pretty devastating. The whole point of this mech is to just joust into the enemy. So you're, the enemy is going to engage your team. You don't want to run in first. Wait for the enemy to engage. Your team and them start fighting, and then you're just going to run in, dash through them, and just distract them, ping them in the back, run through them, slip between them, run between their legs, all that good stuff. And uh, just jump in, joust through, blast them all, then run off, and then swing back around and repeat. You do have to get very close to use this build to its optimum, just because, you know, the short-range missiles are, well, short-range. Uh... But apart from that, I found it to be exceedingly good at skirmishing in between two fighting teams. Another cool thing about this build is that it actually mounts almost 300 armor. It mounts uh, 268 points of armor, which for a mech that's running at uh, 145 kilometers per hour is pretty nuts. So... Uh, just those two things make it very survivable. With this, though, your bane is uh, LRMs. So LRMs, because they can just lock onto you and hit you, you don't have any Guardian ECM, they will be your bane. They will kill you so often. I hate LRMs with this build. So this last build we're going to look at here is kind of more of the same. This is kind of a medium to close range fire support sniper build and it mounts three light ppcs as well as a some additional heat sinks to help with cooling and um i have to say i haven't played that much with this build but so far while not that effective it is interesting and fun and you can build this on pretty much any cicada you don't specifically need the x5 um to do this one so for that reason it's uh, interesting is the way I'm going to put it. I'm going to let you guys experiment a little bit more. Maybe you'll have some more success than I had, but I did find it fun, at least. So as always, guys, thanks for watching, and hope to see you next time. Bye.